five. We're going live, Bubbles. And it's late. It's about 10.45 p.m. And it's the 5 a.m. Messers Crumb Show. And there's a bunch of motorcycles going past my house. And it's our 408th episode. And I just wanted to keep the daily thing going and, and share with you all what we did today. And, and talk and do a, uh, a sprint review. Um, go over the sprint review of the demo we did today with the model rockets. And... Um, Talk about MVP a little bit and some thoughts on that, okay? So what did we learn? We learned a lot of things today on our sprint demo, and we would never have learned this stuff until you actually do it. One, I don't think I put enough padding. There's a wadding you put in there so you don't burn out the, uh, the uh, parachute. It looks like we burnt the parachute. Um so maybe I didn't put enough in there. I don't know. But on the second run, we broke the parachute. Ended up breaking the one little fin that comes down. Uh, Isabella did find everything that went with it. So we got the pieces. And maybe this goes to when I was looking for glue. It recommended using a modeling cement glue. And all I could find in the store was some craft glue that kind of work on plastic. I would highly recommend if you're going to do the plastic, the plastic bond get the modeling cement. So these are lessons learned that um, wouldn't really know. We weren't, I wasn't sure if it would hold or not, but it was the only glue available that I could find in the area. I had to find a hobby store to go buy some modeling cement. Go figure that. So these are the results of review. We're posting up. We did a live show earlier today on our actual review. It was fun doing it live. We, you know, no hose barred. Everybody's all worried about doing demos. And if it's um, not, practice and recorded to a T. What does it look like? Well, we did a live, so it came out pretty good. Actually, the first shot was the best shot of the evening. Yes. Rocket launch on the Agile Way. Hey, Edwin, how are you doing over there in New Zealand? Um, so that's what I just do about the review. Talk about, you know, the whole idea about a review is getting out there and getting feedback and learning what you do. And I think, like, uh, SpaceX does that a lot. And they, they learn and they experiment and they figure this stuff out. And, uh, you know, you can always get more parachutes in the store. I saw them selling that. So maybe there's a reason why you can buy parachutes. The other thing I learned is that um, you want to tighten it up so it comes out easier. You don't want to stuff it in there. So when you stuff it in there, you don't want to make it tight. You make it too tight. That's why it doesn't pop out and it stays in there too long and burns. So you want to make it so that it's loose. I just stuffed it in there just now, just to stuff it in there. So I really didn't think about it. Um, those are some of the things we learned during the, the review and demo. And then the assembly, I think we talked about the assembly. We don't want to use the craft glue. We want to use rubber cement. So that's it. So that was that. And then let's see if there's anything. Oh, the trigger mechanism. One of the things I found on the trigger mechanism, we have a little, came with a little trigger. Whoops. Oh, <laughs> cat's trying to get it. Oh, that's a toy for me. Came with this little trigger mechanism. And what we found with the igniters is that you really got to hold the button down for a while so it catches up. One of the things I noticed compared to when I was a kid Here's one of the igniters. Can you see it? Yeah, it's one of the igniters. So you put the you put the two clips on there. Boom. Yeah, anyway, and these two wires cross like that, and then it starts to flame. Right. Um, one of the things I noticed about these newer ones, I'm pretty sure when I was a little kid, some thirty, almost forty years ago. Um, they had a little bit of gunpowder on the end, so it actually would flare up. And these new ones don't really have a lot of, uh, you know, explosive stuff on there to get a flame. So I think it was just – so what happens is what I noticed is that it's just the heat. It takes longer for when you push this button for it to launch off. And you'll see that. I'm going to take a bunch of video clips. We did um, video with the GoPro and everything. It looked pretty cool. I mean, it was the, the sky was a beautiful day today, but it was a little windy, um, and sometimes that affected it. Like the first, it was funny. I thought the wind was coming, 
I thought it was going to affect the, the rocket, but it didn't. Um, and then later on, the wind did affect it. So it is what it is. So that's thought. Now, MVP, right? So like I said, MVP. So let's talk about what we need to get it out. We did a real simple rocket. Now, in the old days, still rocking it in there. They used to have this little clip. I don't know if you could see it. It was just like a little metal clip that would keep the rocket engine from falling out. So if you had a rocket engine in it, yeah, it's actually the same size rocket engine. Okay, I'm used to. It. Uh, this is my my nephew's. It had a little metal clip. See a little metal clip, and that would keep the rocket engine from falling out when you put it in. It's a little metal clip. So this is like a first round MVP. So if you're building something. Maybe this is the first round. You get the little metal cup keeps the, the engine from falling out, right? And that's the whole idea of MVP. I can still play with this. I can still do this. I don't need anything fancy. But then what I liked is this, the new version. They come with a little plastic item that the engine sits in. Let's see if I can get it out. There you go. So this whole piece here, this blue piece, is a plastic compartment that the engine fits in and then you screw this little end cap on like that. My hands are all dirty, but that's what the new one. So maybe this is like a, the next round MVP, first round MVP, get it out to the customer. See if they lock the rock, like the rocket engine is rocket design is this second MVP, maybe the plastic cap. And as the generations get, this is an older generation. This is a newer generation, right? Looks neat, huh? Um, but just an idea how different designs work. Oh, and the other thing I learned, I was kind of wondering I was going to make a multi-rocket. How, what does it say? How far does it go? I think it went about 300, I want to say 100 meters in the air. It seemed like it went up about a football field. So about 100 meters it went up. And I have a video of it. Should show pretty good. Um, didn't go that too too high because we used the first round rocket engine, which doesn't have as much engine power in it. So Edwin's in there asking me a question. How far did it go? So that's what we did. Um, oh, so the other problem with this thing, I was thinking, cool, this would be great, but I got to check these igniters. Hey, Wood, how you doing? Um, because the igniter is like you have to hold the button so it flames up. And because of that, you can't. What's your success rate? Well, I got three launches. <laughs> three for three. They all launched. The rocket broke a couple times, but everything survived. I still got the rocket. Um, no trees, nothing hanging out in the tree, so we're good. Uh, that's what Edwin's question was. But I wanted to, I wanted to put a multi-rocket design. But the way the new igniters are, it won't work because it takes so long for them to heat up. You need like instantaneous ignition with the three engines. Otherwise, you'll get two engines going. One engine won't go or one engine will go and the other two won't. So it's a little more complicated than I thought. So this is a learning experience. This is why you do reviews. You put something out there and you're like, yeah, I don't know if we can build the rest of the stuff that we thought we wanted to build. But it gives you feedback and then you can think about it. And see if you can't get them all to work at the same time. Maybe we'll take off. The, I'll do three igniters. I'll wire them all up at the same time. And see if they all. And I'll videotape it. And I'll see if they all go off at the same time. So that's just something to think about. As I watch these igniters go. So again. You run demos. You run reviews. You learn about things. And go. Oh this is real world. And yeah we got some considerations to have so imagine going all the way building this giant rocket three engines hooking it up and it doesn't work that would have been a waste so anyway show you the demos i'm going to post up videos of the actual rocket flights i got a bunch of little videos like i said i got a gopro view um, of the engine actually going off and a couple of them going into the sky and a lot of screw-ups along the way so with that thumbs up enjoy your evening and we will see you tomorrow. Bye, Edwin. Edwin, great day. Talk to you later. Yep.
Enjoy the rest of the holiday for everyone here in the States. And we got one more day off on Monday. All right. Take care. Have fun. Bye. Happy scrumming. Go have fun. Have some fun.